congratulations. The perfect start, really, a three points to, to kick us off. You must be very happy. Yeah, very, very happy. As I said, um, consider not not the fact that we you know we picked up the three points, but more so the fact that we've we've done no work with this team. You know, we really, really haven't. And you know, all we've done is demanded from the from the dugout, and, and they've responded. You know, everything we, did. we talked about shape before before the game. We talked about when we lose it, get back into shape. And be hard to beat and not concede goals. We're not going to play football like Barcelona, you know. We're not. When we get it, then we play and we try and score goals. But when we don't, we've got to get into shape. And But we've done no work on the training ground because we're so light, light in numbers. We can't afford to, to put the workload into the players. So, considering that, I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm really, really pleased. I'm, I'm pleased for the players. You know, I'm pleased for the fans. You know, we, it's, a, it's, a love, it's a long journey. We've got a lot of tough games coming up. But winning games breeds confidence and we can be better, we can play better, we will play better. But I thought defensively we were outstanding, I thought the shape was good, putting your heads... Listen, we rode our luck at times. You have to do that sometimes when the position... Oh, they rode their luck at times. Um, but just for the players, just for the, 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 the shift they put in. You know, I mean, Swifty was uh, unbelievable. You know, Thomas, unbelievable. One minute he's stopping the goal from there and then he's scoring there. That's what it takes. Lucas Rao, you know, winning headers in, in the defensive area. You now, when it mattered, there was a different mentality that I saw today that I didn't really, I, I didn't see as much when I went to Preston. Um, today seemed different, and it's something we need to take forward because there's a lot of tough games coming up. As you said that, you know, what we said in the in the week really, like, it can be a habit, can't it, when you come when you lo end up losing week on week and mm. you don't have the confidence in yourself. But you know, back to back wins now, and as you said, they're grinding out at the end when they needed to and being smart uh, to see the three points over the line, and that becomes a habit if you're lucky, isn't it? It does, and in fact, two 0 you're cruising, and then obviously the keeper, you know, listen, Carl's been brilliant for us. He's a young keeper, and they learn, and, and you know, unfortunately, push push onto the post, it's the back of his head and goes in, and you think to yourself, well, is, you know, is it going to be like this again? You know, but again. From the experience of Preston at the weekend, we, we, we managed the game well. Yeah, there's a few close shaves because we're under pressure. As you said, when you're in this position, subconsciously you can drop deeper and deeper and then you start to panic. You can sense that apprehension in the, in the crowd. 2 0 we're cruising. 2 0 I'm thinking it's game over. Um, and that happens. That's what's been kicked ourselves for so many times. Did that Preston last week. But we learned from it and we showed the mentality and the grit to hang into the game and win the game. And that's the most pleasing thing. Fans of Come here for months and it's been over four months since we've won here at the Slack Harley Stadium. Four it's a months. long time since wow. we've had a kind of been able to enjoy a home win really and that's you know with the fans come out in good numbers tonight made a lot of noise and really kind of got the team over the line as well. I think the fans are brilliant and listen I think at the end of the day we can't we can't stay in this league without the Reading fans. It's as simple as that. They're our twelfth man, you know, and we need them as much as you know as much as I need my players, I, I, I need these fans to come here and make this a kind of tough, tough place to come to. Um, but, you know, to not win in four months, you can understand the fans' feelings. So, yeah, we've given that. Hopefully, we can improve. Hopefully, we can get better. We're not ones to, I'm not one to get carried away. I've been in the game long enough not to think, you know, that everything's so hunky-dory because there's a lot of work we need to do. But we can't do the victory next week because we're going to go away to Blackburn on Saturday. Next week, we get a full week on the training ground and hopefully we can improve and, you know, do the things that we can do better. But I thought the fans were great. They stuck behind the team, stayed with the team. And as a player, you want the fans on side. And, if, and they, they know it's a tough job here. They know we've got 17 players, we've got three kids on the bench, we've got four defenders, that's it. That's it, period. Baba's out for six weeks. So what you see today at the back four, that's all we got until we get in maybe a free transfer. So it's a tough challenge for everybody. As long as we try and stick together and have the support from our fans, we'll give it a great, great chance. Helps as well, I mean, you got players who have shown a lot of quality, Lucas and, uh, and John Swift scoring again today, Lucas is, you know, and again, tying defenders in knots and then, as you said, some of the defensive work, so when that all comes together, it gives you a good chance, doesn't it? I'm more pleased, listen, Lucas has got four in, four in two games, three games now, so he's, he's a phenomenal player, he's a, if you put him in the right areas, between the goalposts, as I said to him today, he will score you goals. I know that because he's, he's a quality player. But I'm more pleased about the work that he did at the back, the defect, the headers that he won. You know, we know what John Swift's all about. We know what he's about. He's a top, top player. He's a magician. He's a maverick. But his work rate and getting back into shape, they've never had to do that. And just to do it with just by me telling them before the game, without any work on the training ground, shows the mentality of these players. And listen, I could name players through and through, but 
you, when you, if you can keep clean sheets or be, be hard to beat, the likes of Lucas Jow and Thomas and Junior and Yaku and Swifty, you've always got a chance of winning games. Last, as you mentioned, you're up to up to Blackpool, not, not a long turnaround. Get on the training ground, get those ideas across again, and, and another mm. big opportunity for three points and keep us ticking. Well, the thing is, it's, it's tough again, as I said, the lads, you know, when you've got the same 11 players playing every game, it's tough. The championship's demanding. You know, it really, really is. It's a bruising, bruising league. So, again, we can't do a lot with them. We can't do anything with them because they, they've got cuts and bruises, knees. But that's what it takes to stay in this league. So we can't do anything really. We just just take it easy with them. Next week, then we can get back on the training ground. But we go to Blackpool. We've got to be confident. There's two wins on the bounce. Um, and see where we go. But we can't be complacent. Long way to go.